Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. In the last episode, we started exploring Wonette and took on some sharks, one of which actually killed us. In uh, this episode, we're going to explore Wonette some more. Uh, as you could probably saw, I took the liberty of doing some grinding off screen. <laughs> so I could withstand uh, sharks a little more. Actually, it's for a boss coming up. I'll take that. Yeah, I grinded to level 7. Anyway, this is the way to Tucson, which I believe is where Paula lives, like that Jamaican guy I was talking about. But... We, uh... Don't have access to Tucson. In fact, we haven't even been to the first place we needed to go. Giant Step, I believe it was called. I'll show you where Giant Step is. Or where a place that leads to it is. Let's see. Yeah, it's behind the library. So, if we go up here behind the library. Yeah, past this mole. I think I saw an enemy here. It's a dog. Please do not run around your suburbs beating up dogs in real life. You will be arrested. <laughs> Same probably also goes for snakes. Yeah, so behind this locked door is a giant step. Mm -hmm. So we need to find this Frank character and deal with him so that the mayor will give us the key to the shack. So. That's, uh, what we're gonna do. First, I wanna rest up at the hotel. Just in case. Uh, do I? No, I don't. Uh, give me just a minute. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Okay, if you talk to that... Actually, let's talk to this guy. Okay, I'll give you headlines talking about the uh, events in the game. Also, whenever you use a phone, be sure to call your mom. Make sure you call your mom frequently. If you don't, you will regret not doing so. Heed my words, for they are the truth. Alright. Now, what we want to do is go into this arcade. Yeah, I'm gonna crap ton of hamburgers from these guys. Yeah, my inventory is almost entirely hamburgers. So, uh, go up here. 
<laughs> How rude. Shirts. <laughs> oh well. What happens if I say yes? That's a bit of a catch 22, so no, I don't want to be a member. Okay, so in this backyard. Crowner? Is that you? Anyway, talk to this guy. This is Frank. This is who we're after. And this is being a silent protagonist starts a fight. I'll eat a burger. I got tons of them. Yeah, right now he's just doing his slusser swinging attack. Sometimes I'll brandish a knife. That sounds does a lot more damage. <laughs> okay, that went a lot better than the last time I tried to fight him. Yeah. There was a scrap recording of this original episode where I lost to Frank twice. <laughs> Anyway, Frankie Stein Mark II, he's not much more dangerous. Uh, oh, shit. Okay, maybe he is much more dangerous. But he'll generate a burst of steam every other round. And he's dead. Basically, he'll waste his turn every other round. Talk to him, uh... Yeah, if we go back outside... ...and talk to him, he'll let us rest up here. Yeah! Yeah, I got so disgusted with... Yeah, he just says yeah every time you enter the arcade. What happens if I talk to him? Nah. <clears throat> yeah, I got my butt handed to me by Frank twice. So I'm just talking in circles now. Anyway, let's go talk to mayor to the mayor. Ness goes to mayor. Hey, you, go you guys ever see Tom goes to mayor? That show is weird. It was made by the uh, same two guys who made Tim and Eric's awesome show. Sounds good. You're welcome. Alright. Yeah, sure, why not? Head into the traveling uh, frickin' staircases. Anyway, let's head to the shack. HP maxed out and everything. We're good to go. Oh, look, a dog. My dad. <laughs> uh, truth be told, I don't actually like dogs. I, uh... I don't like the way they constantly bark. Let's see, I believe we need to use this as an item. Look, 
cool. They gave us more travel charm. Actually, I believe, yeah. As for what it does, I don't think it actually increases our defense, but it protects us from paralysis attacks. So that could be pretty handy. Hmm, looks like Frank did do a number on this place. Bed's all busted and chairs aren't aligned and there's a hole in the wall. But yeah. So, this is our first sanctuary dungeon, Giant Step. Here we have a new kind of enemy, Attack Slugs. They can use PSI powers like uh, Starman Jr. we saw at the beginning of the game, but it takes a while for them to do so. Like you have to wait a couple turns, and you probably don't want to do that. Oh, now I level up. Hey, PSI Boom Alpha. And we got another new enemy, Browdy Mouse. They tend to get uh, lots of smash or crit attacks, so they don't do that much damage. I think Frank did almost as much damage with his regular attacks. So yeah, the Rowdy Mouse isn't all that dangerous. Uh, I don't know what, probably a attack slug. Must have dropped a cookie. Yeah, if you get a cookie, just eat it right off the bat. Skip sandwich, this is a cool item. Yeah, you only recover 6 HP, but it makes you move really fast. Until you exit the area, I think. Actually, no, I was still going pretty fast when I even left. I don't think it'll last outside of this battle, though. Also, these attack slugs can edge closer, which I believe increases their attack, but we're so bulky right now that they're still not going to do that much to us. Oh yeah, I'm still going. Still going strong. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, and I leveled up from that fight. Got some decent stats out of it, I guess. Let's see. Are you a new enemy? You might have been, but you're dead now. Climb this rope. in this little cavern. Present. Cold remedy? Hmm, might be useful later. Alright, are these guys down here the enemies I'm looking for? They might be. Indeed they are! Black Antoids. <laughs> you know there's those little spec sprites on the ground that represent the that also represent attack slugs. They're much tougher. But we handle them easily all the same. <laughs> Better eat a burger. Yeah, that'll work. Uh oh hell. Okay, so it apparently takes about five turns for the attack slugs to be able to concentrate. Ah, oh, crap. Anyway, it takes five turns for the attack slugs to be able to concentrate long enough to use some, like, uh, Hypnosis Alpha. 
a magic butterfly, they tend to spawn. They, you can actually find them in dungeons a lot. Sometimes they have special rooms solely for magic butterflies to spawn in. But yeah, they'll tend to appear in this little outdoor area here. What the? Hey. Ch oh, no. I'm thinking of something else, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of this area. I thought it was at the end of the dungeon, but no. Alright, and after that battle, we learned Healing Alpha, which will cure status effects. Alright. Here's the boss of the Sanctuary Dungeon. Alright. I dare. So, he's flanked by two black antoid bees. Or, yeah, black antoids. So, you'll want to use PSI Boom. <laughs> Or whatever you named it, so you don't have to deal with it. Uh, let's. No, let's not try it again. Oh, that's not good. Dang, one point of defense and. Oh, you jerk. Good thing I healed. Yeah, he has a whole host of nasty attacks. Uh, really, all you can do is just keep whacking him. Hope he doesn't drink. Ah, crap. Oh, hey, he's dead. But yeah, that was our first sanctuary boss. Gone into the Aether. And here we finally reach Giant Step proper. Stone and press A, we can skip it. Anyway, let's try it again without skipping it. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Hmm, my inventory's full, but that's okay. We'll need all those hamburgers for the upcoming f part of the game. And now we can just leisurely walk out of Giant Step without uh, the enemies giving us too much trouble. Easy experience, basically. I'll just meet you back outside, back by the Traveling Entertainer Shack. Whoa, what's this? Yeah, I could. Well, I guess in the next episode, we're going to have to get to the police station, see what they want with us. Alright, see you guys then.